What's up everybody, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're going to be taking a look at AM Films Tempered Glass Screen Protector for the brand new iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now I will be putting links in the description in case you guys want to pick this up yourself, and if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So I will be going over the full installation of the screen protector and then my review of it once I've installed it. And I also will be doing a scratch and drop test to see how durable this tempered glass screen protector really is. But first, let's go ahead and see what you get inside the box. Okay, so here we have our instructions. Here we have a dust removal covers, two of them. And we have our two screen protectors here, as well as two installation packets. Okay, so all we need right now is one of our screen protectors, one of the installation packets, and the dust cover. So go ahead and open up the installation packet. Here we have a warranty card, our dust stickers, and some wet and dry wipes as well as a little cloth. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the wet wipe. Make sure you wipe off your screen really well. Okay, then we'll open up our dry wipe here. We'll dry off our screen. Once that's done, we can take our dust removal cover. We'll go ahead and peel this off. Then you can go ahead and put that down over the top of your phone. Okay, and then we can peel that off to get rid of any dust you might have. All right, so once that's done, there's no more dust. Very carefully, what you want to do is peel off the little back of the screen protector here. Make sure you pull straight down and not out because you might uh, pull out the screen protector or damage it. So go ahead and peel down on that. And then make sure you don't touch the underside. As you can see, it says top right here. So all we're going to do is put this over the top of our phone. Okay, once that's down, we're just going to go ahead and push down on the middle of the screen protector so it adheres all over. And we're going to lift up very carefully on the top portion here. As you can see, it is lifting up the top cover. And our screen protector is installed. It's that easy. And it looks excellent. No bubbles. Nothing. Flawless installation. And it is a full coverage screen protector. So I will tell you, it feels just like the glass that's on the phone. Crystal clear, looks amazing. Let's go ahead and see if it's case friendly. And it looks like it is. Looks like it covers pretty much the whole phone and it comes right up to the edge of the case, which is nice. So you can see it is crystal clear. Touch works beautiful, perfectly fine, nice and smooth. Let's go ahead and check out our camera. No problems there, crystal clear. Very nice. All right, so let's go ahead and test out the scratch resistance. So here I have a normal key, which anybody would probably have in their pocket or their purse. We'll go ahead and see what it does to the screen protector. Okay, we'll go ahead and wipe that off. As you can see, the screen protector is unda undamaged. No issues there whatsoever. So just know that any normal thing you might have in your pocket, like a, a coins or keys, should not scratch the screen protector. So now we're gonna move on to little harsher conditions. Here I have some Mohs picks, and we're gonna really test out the hardness of the screen protector. Now, these are just meant to test out how, how hard the screen protector really is, but you might not necessarily run into anything that would cause these types of scratches. So now typically these types of screen protectors will start to scratch uh, at a level six. It depends on how deep it is. Some of them are really light, some of them are, are more uh, pronounced. So we'll go ahead and start off with a level five, which is typically around where uh, your keys or coins might scratch. So that was a level five. I don't see any scratches. 
So now we'll go ahead and move on to a level six. So you can see here's our number six. And it doesn't look like there are any scratches at the level six either, which is definitely a plus. So now we'll go ahead and move on to a level seven. Here's our seven. So we can definitely see that there are slight scratches at a level seven here. Not too bad. We'll go ahead and move on to a level eight and see what happens. Here's our number eight. Ugh. Yeah, so I could feel that. And that is our level eight. So it's definitely significant from a, a level seven to a level eight. But typically, um, again, like I said, things in your pocket aren't normally going to get this bad. Okay, so here's the drop test. I have a 2.4 ounce steel metal ball that is quite heavy. I'm gonna drop it through the tube onto the screen protector that's on top of a piece of quartz. Uh, every time the ball is dropped, if it doesn't crack the screen protector, I will raise it up about a half a foot and do it all again. So here we're at about 20 inches and this is where we're going to, going to begin. So three, two, one. So here, as you can see, it has not cracked the screen protector and it looks like there's maybe like a little dot of damage, but that's pretty much it. No, no cracks or um, shattering. Okay, so here we are at about two feet in three, two, one. As you can see again, there is no shattering or cracking of the screen. And I don't see any more damage than there was before. Very nice. Okay, so here we are at two and a half feet. In three, two, one. Still no damage or cracking. Okay, so here we are at three feet. In three, two, one, go. So there is a slight circle where the ball has hit. I don't know if you guys can see it right there, but there still is no cracking or shattering of the screen. Okay, and then here we are at a little over three and a half feet. In three, two, one. Still no cracking of the screen. Okay, so just to show you guys how high I actually really am, we are just a little bit above the four foot mark. So we'll see how well it does. All right, here we go in three, two, one. And there we are guys, it survived the four foot mark. Absolutely incredible. No shattering or cracking just a couple little circles where the a ball actually hit. Okay guys, I'm going really extreme here. This is seven and a half feet. I'm gonna drop this ball and we'll see if we can finally crack this screen. Three, two, one. The screen is unbreakable. No shattering or cracks anywhere. And just so everybody can see, I will take this off of the slab here just so you guys can see what actually happened to the screen protector. And there you go. So as you can see on the screen protector there, uh, there are the two little dots that were made by the ball dropping, but there is absolutely no shattering and no cracking of the screen. 
Wow, everybody, I am absolutely floored by that drop test. I absolutely did not think that this screen protector would survive a seven and a half foot drop from a 2.4 ounce steel metal ball. Absolutely insane. As you can see, the only thing that happened was it made a couple uh, circles from where the ball actually hit, but at no time did it shatter or crack the screen. Simply amazing. So if you want great scratch protection with absolutely excellent drop protection, this is going to be the screen protector you're going to want to get. Again, I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick this up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.